the OptiFill and AutoFill menu. You can turn on OptiFill on and off. And by turning it on with OptiFill option, it's when you rotate the spout, it automatically adjusts your end cap. As well as on your joystick, the button that looks like a spout down button on the joystick on the C-Motion handle. When you hit that with a knife drum off, it'll park the spout for you. As well as if you hold that button three seconds, it will automatically move your spout to the back straight back position for if you're going to do a cut through or split through the field. Now when we get into the autofill menu, if you want autofill to work correctly or with a full function, you want to make sure you hit discharge flap and discharge direction. Autofill is also an option. Filling strategy. We always recommend if you have semis, use front to back. So it'll start filling the front and as it's full in the front, it'll keep working its way back. If you're going to fill straight trucks, use rear, which means it'll start filling to the rear and making its way forward. So with autofill, you do need to adjust some different settings. So this first one is how close or far away the end cap is throwing the crop in the trailer. So if you are getting the silage too close to you and it's coming off the sidewall near you, you just need to come into this menu and go up one or two numbers. As you can see here, how the number indicates on the screen. Fill level. Fill level is done by uh, measuring the bottom of the trailer to the top. So depending on how high your sidewalls are on the trailer, this number will will be different. But we do recommend to run the fill level so it's filling about 90% of the trailer and then you manually top off the trailer because especially if you have different trailers this is kind of handy. The next menu over is how close you're filling it to the front. The next menu over is how close you are filling it to the rear so you're not spilling off the back as well as your filling a sensitivity it's how fast the spout will move typically stick really close to zero as possible now if you're changing spouts or extensions through the season you do need to come in and tell it which spout extension that you have in swivel rates um, that'll be the end cap the rest of the spout rotations please keep them at zero zero now, if you change a sensor or do some adjusting or you don't think autofill is working correctly, follow the owner's manual's instructions and do the start learning procedure to learn all the end stops of your sensors.